This is Gambia, the smiley coast of Africa. <laughs> I'm Kodo. Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, here are Kodo. So at the Spanish coast of Africa, Gambia, and what I'm showing you now are some of the things you never know or see about the Republic of Gambia. <laughs> So Gambia is the smallest country on the mainland continent of Africa. It has a population of around 2.6 million people. Gambia is surrounded by Senegal except the western coast which is on the Atlantic Ocean. The capital of the Gambia is called Banju and the second and largest city in Gambia is called Sarakunda and Brikama. So Gambia is a Muslim dominated country, about 96% of its people being Muslim. And I'm here to promote the rich indigenous traditional food we have over here. Food that makes Gambia turn out unique. So here's the kitchen that we'll be using for today's recipe, uh, Super Kanja. And as you can see, the local settings, how to set fire over here. So traditionally, fire blazing. <laughs> So their food like yassa, I call yassa the onion sauce because a lot of onion is being used to prepare this amazing recipe. So yassa comes in two forms, they have the yassa chicken and yassa fish. There's another traditional food like domoda, chuapa, um, super kanja, which is okro soup. They have wonjo, babao juice, olele, and ebe. But I was told that ebe comes from Sierra Leone. But in Gambia, they make their own way using cassava. And uh, this ebe also looks like impotompoto or kukoyan potage that we have in Ghana. And also, last but not the least, the popular and famous food that has caused debates and arguments among West Africa, which is Benachi, the Gambian jollof. The original Gambian jollof. Oh, 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 for shizu, manizu. Man, Gambian jollof. And, uh, man, <laughs> it is what it is. Yes. So it's not only food I'll show you in Gambia. I'll take you to Ghana town also, where they process salted fish, the popular cocoa that we know in Ghana, where our elders from Ghana have stayed in Gambia or this place since 1959, even before the independence of Gambia. Wow, interesting. Uh, hey, brother. Hey, hey, brother. Yo. Hey, now, if you're gonna if you go, <laughs> simple. Yes, yes, I. Ghana town history, you know, yeah. is is one of the uh, I can say the richest history so okay, far because. Yeah. People used to say, how comes uh, Ghana town in, yeah, Gambia? in Gambia? And so uh, I think what happened was after the independence of Ghana, okay. in around 1957. Yeah. Yeah, so getting to November, okay. some of the elders. And on one, the same year? On the same year. Wow. That same year. Wow. That was when they decided to embark on this journey. In the early 61, 60, yeah. 1961, yeah, there was a little coup d'etat in the Gambia. Gambia yeah. okay. So my granddad took the 
signboard and wrote that here is Ghana, Ghana town. town. So that so means that the when cool. they reach, okay, when okay. they reach here, they will know that this is a different this territory, different territory, territory all together. That's wow. How, that's how they, if not, they, like they, the cool would come yeah, and exactly, accept you guys. Exactly. So wow. the name Ghana town actually came to be during that time. That, that, that could be 1961. Wow. So from that time, uh, we've been here today. Yeah, we've been here today. So. I also show you how the process cow can that will lay up more or cow skin in Gambia as well. So I'll be bringing you exclusive interview showing interesting places and a whole lot more. So this is the first time watching, kindly share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a brother, who can we see in that cool? Showcasing African food to ourselves as African and to the world. It's about time, you know, that we get to know our food. And it is what it is. Alright, Kodo. So my next upload on YouTube will be Ebe. So make sure you follow the page and I get this Ebe recipe. Alright, Kodo, about one. <laughs> Man, that came from Ghana, super cool. Amazing. <laughs>